sometimes gain strength seeing people go through the unimaginable, finding a way to survive. Bob Buckley shares the story of an Ashboro woman who used the art of her son's friends to turn her worst day into something that does some good for others. This is the one I did of Steve Harvey. Marcus Lowry has a gift for art. His drawings... This was the one of Richard Petty. ...look practically like photographs. He said uh, the bad thing is that it looks just like him. <laughs> Marcus' childhood friend Keaton Hunt had gifts of his own. He was a sweet, kind, loving, giving, do-anything-for-you kind of guy. When did you know that he had a problem? In high school. That's when Keaton began smoking pot, given to him by someone he thought was a good friend. Keaton said, where's this pot coming from? He said, I told you, isn't it awesome? I put heroin in it. Keaton was almost immediately addicted. He battled it, went to rehab. On June 10th, uh, 2019, I got a phone call. It was an officer. And he said, um... I'm sorry to inform you, your son has been a victim of an overdose. And I drove to the McDonald's um, on North Fable Street and saw him laying on the floor of the bathroom. His heart had stopped. And it was so funny, I found out later that when I got there and I started banging on the window and screaming that that was my only son, that his heart came back. But Keaton's brain had died. He was gone. One of the first things I did was scream and say, you can't, you can't turn the machines off because he's an organ donor. I don't know where that came from. Because but she now knows where that was leading. I remember they were, they were taking him to Duke to harvest his organs, and I remember kissing him on the forehead, and the last thing I said to him was, um, go be somebody's hero. That somebody was a woman named Kathy. And she was doing dialysis three times a week. I mean, she was headed for death unless she got a transplant. And um, we've become really good friends. She sends me flowers on Mother's Day and Christmas presents, and she thinks of me just like Keaton used to. Though you can never replace a child. You gotta find something to feel your every moment because I would sit home crying um, if I didn't do this. This is Keaton's Place, the nonprofit Susan started about seven months ago to provide free services to addicts and their families. We are like the bridge that we take a person who's struggling with addiction, we find them detox, rehabilitation, or sober living, or outpatient, whatever it is that they need. And although they lost touch a bit, Keaton's death also inspired Marcus Oh, God, I'm starting to tear up. Um, <laughs> to do something um, special. I drew a picture of Keaton um, at the beach, just in the sky, because apparently that was the best place where he wanted to be, is at the beach. So I wanted to give that picture to Susan, just to, um, just, uh, sorry. Um, Susan knew exactly where Marcus should apply his talent, to the wall on the side of the building that is Keaton's place. What's been the response? What kind of response have you gotten? Um, I had people driving by and stopping, taking pictures, and just telling me how much the message really means to them. A message that is simple, but profound. I always try and reach out and help somebody, because you never know what they're going through. Bob Buckley, Fox 8 News. And the mural is across the street from the old courthouse on Worth Street in Ashburn.